you can look on the ground in the beds. Students are really engaged. They're excited to learn about the gardens. And the impact on the students has been amazing. And it just really lets them explore and use that curiosity to learn. built our first garden over in first grade, um, taking out a space that was where people dumped furniture. And we just slowly changed one area at a time each year. We started a couple of years ago by putting in a few beds, just planting with the kids and trying to figure out gardening and working it into the curriculum. We went through the Nevada State Standards and the Next Generation Standards and we wrote curriculum based on that. You'll see the art teacher out there with the kids. There's math science, there's everything. When they're working in the gardens, it's all tied to our standards. We want to be able to feed our worms and we want to be able to add to our compost. We typically do a garden lesson at least two to three times a month. Part of our science curriculum is looking at plants and nature, so we thought it was a great asset for students to learn how they can reuse scraps and soil and worms to help make our soil better. An organic thing is something that humans eat and then they throw away, but they can actually put it in a compost or in the dirt. I think this is more important than math and science because they're helping nature grow. Initially, I just wanted my students to know that vegetables don't come from the grocery store. They come from the soil, from the ground. They grow and it's a process. And to do a lesson once in a classroom with a lima bean in the window is not enough. We're checking if the worms, they pooped or they peed. We check it by this. We need the pee so we can water our flowers and make them grow more. Students are actually in the gardens every day, even if it's only briefly. So sometimes it's something, just a 10 minute activity where they're maintaining. I check to see if the soil is moist by di dipping my finger in. The last thing I have to do is turn the compost bins around. I gotta see if there's any problems, and if there is, I check off yes, and then write it down here. I think one day maybe I'll have a garden of my own. It might look like they're running around, but they're really not. They have very specific jobs, and they're planting, and they're harvesting, and they're checking for bugs, and they're collecting seeds. They're planning farmer's markets so that we can sell the produce and make money to fund the gardens. The enthusiasm for learning is just incredible. You can start by planting a few seeds in a pot. The kids, they'll respond. Come on under the tree. Is it organic? They get to go outside and, and teach lessons in a different way than what they would have had they been inside their classroom. There's a purpose for being outside and in the garden.